But I talked to your youngest brother yesterday. I was like, at the uh, WBC convention, I was like, I didn't see Gary there. And he explained to me as to why you wasn't there. I was like, okay. I thought it would have been pretty messed up if you wasn't there at the convention, you being a WBC champ. So he cleared it up. I was like, okay. Cool, cool. But, you know, we in camp trying to get my brother situated. You know, I got to value what's more important to me. And that's making right. sure my brother's good. Right. I'm, I'm supposed to be competing in January. Um, so I'm, I start my camp relatively early. Okay. I like to stay on top of it. I'm never out of shape. Well, I don't blow up to 160 pounds, <laughs> 70 pounds. I well, stay fucked something up ready right. all the time. Right. Now, obviously, everybody seen the uh, viral video you did with my guy Fred out of L.A. Everybody's seen that. Um, you're fighting January. Will it be um, at 1.30 or 35 or? Well, it'll be at 26. Okay. It'll be at 26, and that's only merely because the WBC is mandating for me to compete against my mandatory challenger, okay. which I think is, is crazy. You know, I'm tired of competing against my mandatory challengers. Um, I want to compete against the people who didn't feel as though the best. Mm. So, God willing, we get through this dude. I'm saying I'm immediately, I don't want to move up to 30, fuck 30, I'm going to 35. Oh. I'm going to 35, everybody 35 and come. Mm. Now you're mandatory, you know this dude's name? The King Tug or something like that, I don't okay. really know his name like that. Okay. I don't know, I never really focus on none of my opponents. I just prepare myself to the best of my ability. I don't, I don't worry about what my opponents are bringing. Okay, the next, well, hopefully, you said you're skipping 30 and going to 35, you know, God willing. Yeah. So, obviously, you have a date in January, Tank have a date in December. Um, you know, can... Man, tell them to <laughs> some, tell them to grow some nuts and come hard at them. I, we don't even have to meet at 35. I meet him at a catch weight. I meet, this is the thing, I'm a real fighter, huh? I'm a real man at the end of the day. I don't care if somebody come here 250 pounds, they say they want to fight me, he better square up and he better be on the shit. Yeah. You feel me? I'm one of them. Like, I'm willing to rumble whoever's out there to fight me. I'm not picking and choosing. I'm not you know, cherry picking none of that. I'm a real fighter. Mm -hmm. I'm a real fighter, you know what I'm saying? So, we taking on all challenges. We don't duck no wreck. We ain't ducking no smoke. Be careful what y'all ask for. Mm -hmm. How much long you willing to fight? You 32? 31? 31. 31. 31. Okay. 31. Sorry. 31. <laughs> Shit, it's all good, man. With age comes wisdom. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with me. You know, I'm 31. I'm on my grind. I'm focused. I'm hungry. As long as my body and my mind is physically fit to perform, this is just something that I love to do. Boxing is a lifestyle for me. It's not something right. that I just do. When right. I'm done with the sport of boxing, I'm still going to be in this gym training, working out, and all right. that. So, right. it's a lifestyle for me. Right. Anything post boxing? You looking to come a, um, to become a, like a promoter or maybe like commentary? Anything along those lines? When the career, when my career is over and done with, I want to make sure my younger brothers is good and spend time with my wife and my baby. That's it. That's okay. all. And live all the fruits of my labor. You know, I want to chill. I, I'll deal with the babies, the amateurs, and stuff like that. But I, you probably wouldn't see me in the professional. Okay. Um, you know,